So today here we are going to firstly discuss what is called a figure eight. A figure eight is one of the most basic types of drills that we will do to practice skating and will be demonstrated here in the video. I am accompanied by one of my students here over in Langley, Maximus Kim. And here we are demonstrating a basic figure eight. Now a figure eight is going to be practicing a number of different skating techniques at the same time. What Maximus and I are working on is the most basic, but there are many, many variations to this and we can work our way up to work on all sorts of different skills, not only including skating, but it can also include passing as well and uh, some other type of edge work and balancing our stick on our hands. There is many different progressions. This is the most basic. So in this drill, all we need is two fixed points. So it can be pylons or pucks. And as you can see, we only need about six feet of space to separate them. Uh, so this can mean that we can have this situated all over the ice and we can have lots of participants doing this all over the arena and there will be lots of room and it will be COVID safe, which is something we've obviously been discussing with our partners is making drills that are spaced out. So this is a great exercise for that as well. And it's very simple. The skater is going to start from here. They are skating forwards. They are going to then transition to backwards. We want to see them try to do a punch turn here and then transition back to forwards. And as you can see, it makes an eight and it's a continuous loop and the skater is getting to practice this. At the bottom, we like to transition back to forwards with what's called a mohawk. This technique can be taught in most basic learn to skate classes at about a level five range would be where you would typically see it. Once you can incorporate all of these skills, then we can start to make these uh, drills a little bit more complicated. Oftentimes we will introduce cutbacks and other types of skating techniques that are slightly more advanced. And then for our most advanced skaters, again, we will do rapid fire passing and all sorts of other things to distract them from the skating and make it a little bit more complicated. There are also other variations of this drill that are uh, strictly passing. Things like the Car Randy Carlisle drill are quite famous for this. These are other drills that can be explored at a later date in other videos. But again, very simple to set up, very quick. And the best part about this, and the reason why coaches at the minor level should show things like this, this is something that any person can do at any time. You wanna teach your kids things that they can use when they are not with you. Practicing should not just be a thing that a coach needs to be present for. So we hope that this inspires you to think about coaching in a different way. And if you have any questions at all, Sun Bears Japan and Team Strike Anywhere are available anytime to discuss this with you. And we hope to give counseling, guidance, and further assistance to coaches all over the world. So please don't hesitate to contact us. Again, I am Mike Sharpaletti on behalf of Strike Anywhere, Sun Bears Japan. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you in the next video.